All right, gentlemen, that is an announcement tonight. It's about 7.15 at the usual place, 2033 Corporate Drive. It's October 9, 2014, and I'm officially calling the meeting to order. Uh, I'm going to start with the Executive Committee report. This is what I did uh, this last month. I spoke to the county and Mark the tree on 17 at Castle Hain for them to take a look at. Um, they have had someone go out there and take a look at it. Uh, it's the one that's on the right side of the fairway as you're approaching the pin, probably 50 feet short of the pin, and it's kind of leaning where it could fall and hit right on the pin. Um, they're going to go take it down, and he's going to let me know we're going to need to pull that basket for them because they don't want to damage it. So that's something we'll that need, we'll need to be locked in because we're going to violate it if we have it off. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I'll get you one of the new keys. Um, so that's uh, in process. Um, I also spoke to the county about the um, possibility of using our score box up by the baseball field. Uh, the score's not working. And Don said it sounded okay. He went and checked it out. I said, well, we're thinking about maybe putting some shelves or a lockbox in there. So I think Carl, you, you and Troy, Troy's not here, but you took an interest in doing something like that. I already put the shelves in there. You already did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Okay, great. Do we need to put some sort of lockbox, do you think? Is there anything that we want to? Well, there are any items I can think of, I don't know if it would fit. Rudy and I talked about the other day, maybe putting the flags in there. Just an off chance for you about a month or something. You know, okay. to have access to it. Okay. And I know Rick was talking about putting banners and stuff in there too. <clears throat> yeah. It would be a good idea to put some sort of lock box in there, thinking, thinking about the dimensions of what we've actually got to store in there. Um, also, uh, Dynamic Disc will come to coming through for their uh, October RV tour. They're going to be at Castleham Park on the 15th. Um, it's a two disc challenge. Flex tees. Um, I believe that's a Wednesday. It is. So okay. So um, it's kind of. I don't think I'll be able to make it, but certainly all you regulars. Um, and I have located that with the county as well, so they are under our insurance policy umbrella. Um, officers and committees list update. I went through and looked at it. I kind of took a few people off that really haven't been here for the last eight or nine months. No insult to them at all. Um, certainly if they showed up and, and wanted to uh, reactivate their membership, we would add them on. And um, the only new thing is the Arrowhead Maintenance Committee. We talked about that last week. Um, and there it is. Jeff, Hubert, Carl, David, John, Graham, Alan Pettit, and Stephen Ward. Um, these are really the guys that have been showing up uh, to the Airhead work days for the Airhead Improvement Project, which we are moving along on very nice. Uh, the Google Plus is just a piece of data uh, that came up when I was doing this last January, uh, January and um, I didn't know if it was important or not. I didn't know how far we wanted to go into the communications stuff, but since these people popped up as Google Plus people, I put them on here. I don't know that it's really anything necessary or special, but if it turns out to be irrelevant, then it certainly will be something that I'll just take off. Um, and that's it. Uh, next, Facebook content. Uh, we had an episode a few weeks ago. Um, I posted our meeting minutes, and um, David George came on and asked a question. I answered the question. Uh, and then Jeff Erickson came on and expressed his opinion about a few things, and I felt like David and Chief got out of line. Um, we talked about this at the very beginning of the year. We talked about this last year, about 12 or 13 months ago. Our forum is supposed to be an open forum. We have to allow people to come in here and express how they feel. We can't attack people and lambast people for presenting an opinion. They may not always present it the best way or say exactly what they mean, but you got to read into it and you got to take the high road here. About six months ago, Israel, who's kind of a, he's a global player, he's not really involved with the club much, he came on and he had some things, some ideas, and he quoted him up there and said, I think that we need to do this, maybe the club will try that, and within his post, he also said, I apologize if, I, if anyone takes this the wrong way, I'm, you know, kind of distant, but here's some ideas I have. And he got attacked for it. That was unfair. 
haven't seen or heard from them since. Um, these are people that maybe they're on the fringe, maybe they're committed heavily, but you have to believe and feel that you can go on to our Facebook site and say what you feel like saying in a, an adult, uh, responsible way. And as a final note, I read everything. I'm sure many of you read through the post. I, it should still be up there. I, I, I told several people to not delete this. Um, I read what Jeff said, and I fully supported what he said. He had every right to go on there and say his opinion about the order of the conduct at the meetings. That was his point about getting out of control. I don't know that the beer thing has anything to do with it. It's just simply, apparently, we have some personnel conflicts. So that's uh, all I'm going to say on that. You know? Because I've got something to say about it. Okay, well, you have, you have one minute. Okay, that's good. Anybody here that read those posts? I'm sure a lot of you guys read it, correct? Did anybody think that the post that I put up was threatening whatsoever? Just say yes or whatever. You know, I'm not going to be upset if you do it. Did anybody think that I was threatening? I did. Outside the box? I thought it was a little threatening. You thought it was a little threatening? A little, yeah. A little. I wouldn't say over the top, but yeah, a little. Yeah. Okay. This, so, my point is, is that to make accusations that somebody drunkenly battles is, is obnoxious. So, you, you guys think that Jeff was in his right to get on Facebook and insinuate that I drunkenly babbled at these meetings. I didn't get the drunkenly babble part. You didn't? Well, I mean, I, mean, I can read it for sure. One or two years, I think, is what we'll say on that. Yeah, it's, it's exact post was. I don't know who's saying it. Was this on the club page? It's on the club form. You know, I think the form think is more, I think he's had a good point with it. And I've run into this in the past, mm -hmm. like emailing people. Yep. You know, you don't really, you can't pick up on the tone of their voice and they're typing. Yeah, it's tough to, to type. It can be taken out of context so easily. You know. Rambling on when they have had three or four beers in two hours, that is what makes the meetings boring and time consuming. So does anybody in this room think that I ramble? I do these meetings. I do. I don't think Does anybody from here, Boz and Jeff Erickson, think that I ramble at these meetings? And you're more than welcome to say yes. I'm not I'll, 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 I wouldn't categorize this as a ramble. I, I, I think you're opinionated and you're very forthcoming with that opinion. Right. That's what they want to write to the club meeting, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, I took offense to that. There was nothing threatening about this getting ugly. It's going to get ugly in the sense that. When he says something like that to me, I'm going to defend myself. We're going to have drama on the club page, and that's ugly. Drama on the club page is ugly. It paints the club in a negative aspect, it paints Jeff in a negative aspect, and it paints me in a negative aspect. That is exactly what my point was. That if we sit here and hash this out on a forum that's connected to the internet, it's going to be ugly. What, what part of that? I find this part of the trend. Did he single you out when he said that? It's it's obvious. Now hold on a second. No, no, yeah. no. You cannot make that assumption. I didn't. Make that There's other and people who can. Make other assumption. people in here that drink beer as well. I absolutely can make that assumption. It's within my right to make okay. that assumption. Your minutes up. We're going to move on. I, I kind of took okay. it personal. I kind of took it personal okay. too, and I remember I talked to you and told right. you I know. I wanted to find out exactly what was going on before I put anything on there because I was like, you know, when I read it, I was like, what the hell? You know, well, you know, once again, I, the way I saw it, the way I read it, uh, the part about the beer was unnecessary. However, the important point about rambling on and digressing and changing the subject and hijacking the meeting, that was valid. Vic, thank you very much for that. I really appreciate that for sure. And I think that we just established that only two people here think that the wrangling is happening. I think we just established it. Well, you need to go back and watch some of the YouTube. I watch it every night. I watch it every night. All right, we're moving on. Make somebody has a letter. Make somebody has a comment. Awesome. Jason is not here tonight. Jason, you want to talk about Jason? Yeah, I'll talk about it. I do have a few things that I want to talk about. Are you going to let David Nelson bring up the knowledge of the standards? Did you raise your hand, David? Yeah, go ahead. I didn't try to remember. 
Um, my only two cents on the whole thing was, as I said, it did come across a little threatening, but sure. as Carl would say, the written word can be taken on. Absolutely. Uh, so maybe that was a little out of line. And the other thing I would say is, Jeff, no offense, but it was the internet. And calling somebody out on the internet is opening a can of worms. You know, I understand where you're coming from. I understand your frustration. Um, but to echo what he said, it's kind of a black eye for the club to be on the internet with that. I mean, we have these meetings for that same, you know, that same purpose. I mean, the tension in this room is palpable right now because we're discussing an issue that should have been discussed in person that was discussed online. So not that you were wrong in bringing up issues, it just, I think it could have been worded better, is all, is all I would say. So maybe double fault on this one. Um, you know, not trying to throw anybody into the bus here, because things were done in a way that I wouldn't do them. You know, that's all. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Dave. I appreciate that, buddy. All right, um, Jason obviously is not here tonight for the budget report. Well, I have what he has emailed me. Uh, starting balance, $3,457.55 uh, for September. Uh, no revenues, zero. Total expenses, zero. We didn't do any banking. And our ending balance is, of course, $3,457.55. That is what is in the bank. Okay, we're going to move on now to the membership report. Okay. We have a good meeting. Um, we got a good turnout. We got a lot accomplished. Uh, she, I think, is very close to where we have the, the updated list. We just have to enter those. Yeah, in, right in, there. In the, you know, based on what we had originally, we're getting very close. Yeah, yeah. I should have this done. Like, I'll have half of these done tonight. All right. So we're going to have that updated. We'll have that list up soon. Um, Back tags. Uh, so we had a sample from ProTag. <laughs> Uh, it's a plastic instead of the acrylic. I think it would hold up a little bit better. But last night I got on swagpack.com because I got to tell you I was impressed with the way I saw um, Trig's bag tag that off day, off day has. And I like the way it looks. It's a full color tag. Um, and it's, you can bend it. It's not going to break. It's a 30 mil PVC tag that they can do in full color. Either one of those places, it's going to cost roughly three dollars a tag, which is about a dollar twenty-five more than what we paid previously. But most everybody we talked to, everybody at the meeting agreed that um, we don't want them spending a little more on tag. We seem to have this. Well, we have this surplus of money right now. We have double. You know, we got two monthlies running, um, and everybody wants a little nicer tag. You know, I mean. Not that I don't think that the other tag, I've never had a problem with it, just to put that out there. I've never broke one, but um, that's just something that everybody will voice their opinion on. You know, either one, I would like to get in touch with, I, I forgot to bring the sample and stuff, and as soon as I saw that, I, I forgot. Um, but either one, I think, would be a good uh, work with. The only thing with ProTag, we were talking about ProTag being a local company, it would be nice to kind of try to build a relationship with a local company um, and possibly maybe get them to sponsor the Zellia from the liability of the relationship. Um, you know, that, that's a lot of what we discussed there. Um, not sure about attendance for monthly. I don't have that information. Uh, membership kits. We've got, I've made some, dispersed them. And we have plenty of member discs. There was a question at the last meeting about how many membership discs there were. We've got lots. And we're pretty low on tags, but we're coming up in the years with those. Are you done for the board? Is it the It's like, that would be about $3. Yeah, roughly. Yes. Okay. 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 yes. Um, like I said, it's a 30 mil PVC tag, and it's a good size and it's full color, which is something we've missed since. 
what was that sublimation mission? Um, we missed it. We, that has not been available. And anybody that remembers the old, the original tags that had the cap on it, it was a nice color. I mean, they looked really good. That's something we could get back to by going through the swag tag. That's not going to happen in pro tags unless we pay seven to eight dollars. You know, they can do it, but it's a lot more. You know? um, so I want to get in touch with Swagtag. It's weird, really weird with them. They want you to uh, place your order before you send them the art and do it. That's some kind of odd stipulation going on there. You know, uh, no, 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 no. I think it's uh, so. I think the least amount they have is fifty. I guess you could say the reward is fifty. But the three dollar price was from a hundred to two hundred a bit. So so I don't see what you can do. Sorry. Oh thank you. Yeah. We're definitely to I would like well we have um which we'll discuss this on the tournament committee before you we okay. decided January third we're gonna do the um, you know the uh, Membership appreciation in the bag tag drive, you know, your, uh, where you, what we're going to do is we're going to play two rounds simultaneously at Arrowhead for bag tags. So obviously we need to order them here soon so we can have them ready to go for January 3rd. That's everything I have on it. Attendance, I'm not sure on Membership kits are good. You mean the attendance on the uh, turn? Yeah. Like 26 or 24. 24 at the castle. At the castle. Yeah. Not sure about Arrowhead. And one didn't remember. Hold on. I don't know. I think we had, and I think we had two new members at Arrowhead. Oh, okay. I'm not aware of those yet. Yeah. Anything else? 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 Anything else?